All right, winter water restrictions are back in action across the valley. I spoke with the Southern Nevada Water Authority to help you avoid getting fined. It's time to tell the community about their winter water restrictions with the Southern Nevada Water Authority, right? Absolutely. So it's that time of year where you need to go out and change your watering clock. If you haven't done that yet, get off the couch, go out into your garage or outside and change that watering clock. During the winter months, you're only supposed to be watering one day a week. And it's not only a good idea to do it, it is actually the law. So make sure you get out there and do that from now until February, one day a week. It's also um, a way that you can save money too. By changing your watering clock four times a year, you can save up to $300 on your bill. So who doesn't want to save money right now, right? You can get a water waste fine for overwatering. You can get a water waste fine for watering on the wrong day and you can get a water waste fine for watering too many days. So if you're not sure what day you're supposed to water, simply go to snwa.com, put in your address, and your day will pop up, and you go out and you make sure you comply. Because those water waste fines can be pretty expensive. They, they start at about $80 and double thereafter. So nobody wants to get a water waste fine. No, we don't. So the other things you could do too is you wanna make sure you're going out and checking your landscape, probably about once a month to make sure that you're, you don't have any broken sprinklers, that you don't have any broken irrigation lines. So you, again, that will save you some money and save water as well. And you're only supposed to be wa watering about 12 minutes a day. That's all it takes, especially during these cool w winter months. 12 minutes a day is it. And you don't want to do it all at once because you could get some runoff. And again, you don't want to get that water waste fines. And uh, as you can tell, I have brought my, my guy, Ryan Reeves, here. He is our water waste enforcer. He's the one that tells everybody in the community, you've probably seen him all around town, reminding people to change their watering clocks. He is the enforcer. So if you don't change your watering clock, he may show up at your house. Oh, well, don't say that because we're going to purposely not change the watering clock, right? Between you and Ryan Reeves, I think we get it, and I think we are listening for sure. My next question is, how else can people save water? I know there are other ways that you guys, that you guys give the community. So one of the other ways that you can save water is by getting rid of grass that you don't use. So if you're only on your grass when you mow it or to maintain it, take it out. We'll pay you $3 a square foot to upgrade to water smart landscaping. And there's some beautiful water smart landscapes out there. It's not just rock and cactus. Some beautiful plants that are water efficient. So that is a great way to experience water savings and money savings on your water bill by getting rid of that grass that you don't use. That's a great thing that you can do for, for yourself as well as the community. Simple rules to follow right there. For more information, call 702-258-SAVE for save or visit snwa.com. We'll be right back here on Las Vegas Now.